Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Microsoft Planner and Asana, two of the most popular task and project management tools for teams and individuals alike. I'll compare their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, customer support, and more. By the end of this video, you will have a very clear idea of which platform is the right choice for your workflow. First off, let's take a look at what these platforms are all about. Microsoft Planner is a task management tool included with Microsoft 365, built really to help teams organize tasks visually with boards, buckets, and checklists. It integrates tightly with other Microsoft tools like Teams, Outlook, and To Do, which makes it ideal for users already working inside that Microsoft ecosystem. Now, on the other hand, Asana is a powerful standalone work management platform that supports everything from basic task lists to complex project timelines, with robust features for collaboration, automation, and reporting. It is designed to serve individuals, small teams, and even large enterprises with tools that go beyond just assigning and tracking tasks. Now let's dig into the feature set. Microsoft Planner keeps things pretty simple. You can create task boards, assign responsibilities, set due dates, and even monitor progress through a visual dashboard. It's great for internal teams that need basic task organization, and it shines when combined with Microsoft To Do for personal task tracking. However, it does lack the advanced workflows, automation, and reporting that some teams might need. Asana, in contrast, comes packed with advanced tools like timeline views, workload management, rules-based automation, custom fields, and forms. Plus, its goal tracking and reporting tools are a big advantage for managers who want insights into team productivity. If you need more than just to-do lists and task boards, Asana gives you much more flexibility. Next up, let's talk about user experience. Microsoft Planner's design is simple and easy to use, especially if you already know your way around other Microsoft 365 apps. It doesn't take much time to figure out, and since it is part of Microsoft's ecosystem, everything will connect smoothly. You can attach files and sync tasks without any trouble. Asana's interface is also clean and user-friendly, but it gives you more options. You can see your work in different ways like Kanban boards, lists, timelines, or calendars. This makes it easier to organize your tasks the way you prefer. Plus, both the mobile app and browser version work really well and look great. When it comes to integrations, Microsoft Planner works really well with other Microsoft apps like Teams, Outlook, OneDrive, and ToDo. But outside of the Microsoft world, it really doesn't offer much. On the on the other hand, Asana connects with tons of tools like Slack, Google Workspace, Zoom, and Salesforce. It even works with Zapier, so teams can create custom workflows to connect Asana with almost any tool that they use. Now let's talk about pricing. Microsoft Planner comes with Microsoft 365 at no additional cost. If you're looking for more features, you can upgrade to the Planner Plan 1 for $10 a month. There's also Planner and Project Plan 3 for $30 a month, and Planner and Project Plan 5 for $55 a month. As for Asana, they have three plans. You can use the personal plan for free. The starter plan costs $10.99 per month per user if you pay annually, or $13.49 per month if you pay monthly. Their advanced plan is $24.99 per month if billed annually, or $30.49 per month if you build monthly. So which one should you choose? If your team is already using Microsoft 365 and just need basic task tracking, mm -hmm. Microsoft Planner is a solid, no-cost solution that is simple and reliable. But if you need a deeper project management capability, flexible workflows, and strong integration support, mm -hmm. Asana is a much more capable tool, especially for growing teams and cross-functional projects. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe, and as always, Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.